Of the more than 9,000 hymns written by Charles Wesley, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing, number 89 in the Salvation Army Songbook, is one of the most widely sung and appreciated. While misunderstood as a call to a congregation of a thousand voices, its primary focus relates to the last line in the first verse, the triumphs of His grace. The author surely wants to declare these triumphs as broadly as possible. These triumphs are God's glories in verse 1, the glories of my God and King. God's enabling provision for us in verse 2, my gracious Master and my God assist me to proclaim. And God's help for our fears and sorrows in verse 3, that further redeems us as with godly music and life-giving healing for our souls. Jesus, the name that charms our fears, that bids our sorrows cease, Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. The final verse brings us to a personal triumph of His grace. It is one that will thrill us a thousand times over with God's promise of love provided by the grace of our Lord Jesus. He breaks the power of cancelled sin. He sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean. His blood avails for me. Jesus, the name that charms us.